and welcome to Seriously Scientific. And today, I'd like to start by asking you all a question. Did you ever hear of a creature that can survive in space? Well, let me introduce you to the tardigrade. These little guys are the champions of survival. They're so tiny, you need a microscope to see them. Most commonly, they are around 300 to 500 micrometers long, which is about 0.3 to 0.5 millimeters. But don't let their size fool you. These microscopic animals, with their tiny little legs, have been found almost everywhere on Earth, from mountains, oceans, rainforests, and even Antarctica. They're there, just hanging out. Now, you've probably heard the word invincible thrown around a lot, but tardigrades are as close as it gets. They can survive being frozen to just above absolute zero, the temperature at which atoms even stop vibrating, a staggering minus 272 degrees Celsius. And on the other end of this scale, they can also handle temperatures over 149 degrees Celsius, hotter than boiling water. You'd think that's crazy, right? But there's more. They can even survive the near vacuum of space. When things get really tough, they enter a state called cryptobiosis. Cryptobiosis is like hitting the pause button on life. They stop almost all activity. No eating, no moving, just waiting. Their bodies dry out almost completely, shrinking into a little wall we call a ton. In this state, they can survive for years, even decades maybe, until conditions get better. Then, just like that, they wake up and get back to life as usual. It seems like magic, but it's something even more awesome. Biology! But how do they pull off these tricks? One of their secret weapons is a special protein called ESA, short for damage suppressor. Think of it like bubble wrap for their DNA. You see, in space, you've got radiation zipping around everywhere that can really mess up DNA, breaking it apart. But these are proteins wrap around the DNA in a tardigrade cells, protecting it from getting zapped. Scientists even tried this out in the lab. They took human cells, added the DSAP gene from tardigrades, and then hit those cells with x-rays. And guess what? The cells with DSAP had 40% less damage than the others. That's like having an extra layer of body armor. Now, let's talk history. Tardigrades have been around for about 500 million years. That's way before the dinosaurs, before most of the life we know today even existed. We found their fossils preserved in amber. And what's amazing is, they look almost exactly the same as they do today. That tells us one thing, their design is pretty perfect. So why do we care about these tiny, resilient creatures? Well, if we can understand how tardigrades survive in extreme conditions, we might learn something that can help us too. Especially when it comes to space travel. Imagine humans exploring Mars, protected by what we've learned from tardigrades, or even using their techniques to protect crops or medicines during long storage. The possibilities are huge, all thanks to these tiny, tough as nails creatures. So next time someone tells you something's impossible, just remember the tardigrade. They've been showing us that the limits of life are way beyond what we used to think. These little guys might just hold the key to our future in space. And that's why they're not just fascinating. They could well be super important for the survival of the human race. Wow! Okay, so that's it from me today. I'm heading out now to find some pizza to add to my June protein shakes. Thanks for watching, awesome people. And please check out the description for credits and other payments. As well as smashing that like and subscribe button for more more fat coming your way.